and I got a check off, eh, had to flex off, eh, eh. I was never scared, so I had to man up, eh, had to stand up, eh. What's going on guys? Oh fuck. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your host with the most Tomboy Double and Crouching Tomboy TV and welcome back to the channel. Now today, this is gonna be a little short video. I might upload another video about Supreme later today, but this is just an issue. Not issue, but some crazy loop. Get your money up, not your fun up. I gotta put everybody, if you don't know, I feel like a good amount of people do know, but I did have to talk about this because I haven't seen this happen in quite a long time. So, without further ado though, you know, the Discord didn't know about this drop. Just to let you know, Discord, they did, we didn't know it was going to get pulled off shelves. But the premium Discord didn't know about it. Only $10 a month, by the way. One of the cheapest cook groups on the market. It's essentially private early links, DoorDash plugs, uh, trivia. We still have trivia in there. We have early link monitors, with variants. We got free slots. A bunch of people hit with the Buju Banton photo tees. Just know, it's not bad for $10 a month, baby. You know, I'm going to talk all day. I try to get in there as much as freaking possible. But today, I do want to talk. I did post this on my Instagram, by the way, at hype underscore NJ. And the time I actually first heard about this was actually on Bloomberg. I was watching Bloomberg. Uh, and they just it just popped up that Colin Kaepernick was the one that decided to call Nike and pull the Nike Air Max 1 USA 2019s off the shelf. So, if we go to the also mighty... StockX, which is the aftermarket of things, baby. I mean, uh, not the biggest fan of it, but you know, it is what it is. Undercutting is surreal, except not on this pair. There is not a lot of undercutting on this. And what's crazy is that this pair was really going for $300. To, what was it? Three days ago. When Finish Line dropped them, I know for a fact they were going for $350. They were going for $350, and that's it. Yo, what the fuck are you doing, bro? I got selected. What the fuck, man? This guy got yes. selected. Yes, sir. Damn, Supreme signups for today, by the way. Uh, your boy did not get selected once again. Sad day. But continuing on, boys. So, the Air Max 1 USA 2019s, they were going for $350 when they came out on Finish Line. Finish Line dropped them on Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. They're the only one to actually drop them early. I would say the rest were supposed to drop them on July 4th, if I'm not mistaken. That's when the actual release was supposed to be. Now, I've been calling up all Finish Lines near me. They all said they haven't gotten them yet. I was like, I'll offer you $500 right the hell now. Uh, because they can't really backdoor themselves because if they find out that they did, they could get fired or something. If they sell to someone else, it'd be like, oh, I didn't know you weren't allowed to sell it. So I was trying to finesse it that way. Uh, but I'm about to put you guys up on a screen recording in three, two, one. So you guys will be able to see right over here. And this is what's good. So this is the Air Max USA. So if we go to all sizes, boys, look at this. Highest bid is a $2,105 for 8.5. Lowest ask is $2,500 for a 4, 5, and 13. Look at the previous sales. Look at this. It literally going for $2,98. Whoever actually like secured it on the June 25th and actually got it shipped out to them, baller moves right there. Good shit to you because now all pairs slowly were rising. 308, 365, shot up to 1200 and now they're literally going for 2000 I don't think you can buy a pair for less... Dude, they went up even more. This is gonna be. This is gonna be like. Look at this. This size twelve, highest bid. You have like. You have highest bids for shoes that don't even. Don't even have an ask right here. So if you want to sell, the highest bid right now is for it's eight and a half. If I'm not mistaken, eight and a half at the moment for two thousand one hundred and five dollars. That's an insane come up. This shoe retails for one hundred sixty. That's insane come up. One hundred twenty actually. What am I saying? One hundred twenty. Now, so Nike had them pulled off all shelves. I'm gonna take you guys off the screen. So Nike had it pulled off all shelves, but I still think there will be some retailers. Some what I would focus on if I were you guys, go to some smaller boutiques, some mom and pop shops, not the not the chain stores, not no full lockers, no foot actions, because they will corp their corporate is insane. They will not allow you to get them. But if you know any stores out there, little boutiques that do have an Air Max account with Nike and do get these type of releases. Now this is not a basic Air Max release. This is like a little higher up tier. Uh, it's not tier one or zero. I think it's a tier two release. Not entirely too sure though. Don't quote me on it. But um, definitely try to go to the mom and pop stores, the boutiques, because they might have them there. Maybe they don't really, because like Nike's just pull them off. But like, if you're corporate, you kind of have to pull it off, or else the contract could get screwed. But if you're mom and pop store, you could somehow get away with selling a few pairs and then send the rest back. But there's definitely some pairs that are being sold, and I know some people that actually do have them. I do want to get a review for you guys, but I don't know how it's gonna work out because I would just tell everybody sell. Oh, you can even hold this item because this item is gonna go up over time. But what is Nike going to do with all the leftover pairs? Burn them. Shit, I, they're about to make that illegal. You cannot be burning uh freaking clothing like that. But 
I'm interested to see what Nike is going to do with them. Uh, maybe give them out to friends and family. That's just going to bring down the price a little bit more. But I would try to finesse a good little set right now because you could probably sell for like $3,000. And that's crazy. That's going more than off-white Nike Air Maxes. Blows my mind. So what I'm going to say, finish on orders. They did drop online. I know somebody who did get a confirmation. I don't know if they're going to be canceled or not yet. They, he hasn't got a shipping confirmation. So most likely than not, it's going to be canceled. But any update, if you guys want to know, will be posted on my Instagram at hype underscore and J. And the reason being, once again, is Colin Kaepernick decided to take it off because of the fact it had, look at the, if you can look at the flag, flag on the bottom. Uh, actually, on the back of it, just show the old uh, with Betsy Ross, the flags that she did have with the 13 uh, colonies and not the actual one that we have present day with the flag with the 50 stars for the state. She just put 13 stars there, I mean, in a circle for the colonies. Now, honestly, don't know what's so wrong about this sneaker. Colin Kaepernick, uh, of course, you guys probably do know how. Oh, they sh oh, don't tell me they shut the sneaker off of. Yo, they took the sneaker off of StockX. Just now, they took it off. There is no, you cannot buy it or sell it. It just grayed out completely. Yo, that's crazy. They just grayed out the entire sneaker. I don't think you can buy it anymore. On StockX, at least, that's a fact. I was just on, I'm about to take a screenshot right here. Uh, but literally, they took it off. It seems to be that they did take it off $120. It's still up there. It's still up there, but the buy and sell are all grayed out. You cannot, oh, selling unavailable. This product is currently unavailable to sell. Keep an eye out for this product, product to return to action. If you want to buy it, slow down speed racer damn maybe nike came at StockX, or they don't want or maybe StockX doesn't want to get involved into no uh controversial political issues right now because it is going to be a political issue i feel like there's gonna be more debate on this entire thing i personally will still stick with this opinion i don't see anything mark this sneaker july 4th commemorates old flag we had i don't know colin carpenter there's no exact details on to what he said exactly but it is confirmed that he did call up uh, Nike over here, called him up on corporate, said, you guys need to take this shoe off or whatever. I'm not a fan of it. And, you know, he is a very patriotical uh, figure right now in society. And if that is a fact that well, I don't I don't agree with it at all, I feel like. But it's, if you have this secret now, I'm guessing you're ecstatic because you just made an extra two thousand plus dollars if you can sell but as of right now it looks like stock eggs at this moment as i'm filming one o'clock 108 p.m uh on the eastern seaboard time looks like they took it down i'm just mad confused as to why but it's gonna be interesting to see where these prices go so thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for tuning in. i know it wasn't no crazy video but i didn't want to talk about this because this shoe is going for literally more than off-white air, air freaking jordan ones but so thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe to the channel catch you guys in the next one peace